The year was 1972. The Beatles had come and gone, but an ex-GI, also known as the King of Rock and Roll, was still there. This is the first time that footage has been seen on national TV. It was Elvis's only time on stage here in New York, other than TV appearances in the 1950s. But those shows at the Garden weren't televised. What you just saw was taken by a fan with a Super 8 movie camera. That amateur movie is now out on DVD titled Elvis, Prince from Another Planet. And joining us is a man who was with Elvis that night, the King's close friend and longtime associate, Jerry Schilling. Jerry, we're going to take a look at that for just a moment, and then we'll discuss. Thanks. That's just great stuff. Great stuff. <laughs> and you know, I produced a lot of documentaries on Elvis. And when you talk about what would be called bootleg footage, yeah. it doesn't have that kind of quality. What? Well, this is a Super 8 film Super shot by 8? somebody in the second row? Correct. A guy uh, named Don Lentz. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, and was just found, for, you know, here we are 40 years later. Right. It shows up, so it's amazing. And I mean, it, did he have a tripod? He's doing incredibly well here. Free iPhone. I, I, you know, he had a Super 8 millimeter camera. Right. But somebody told me just recently that he had snuck in a tripod. Right. And had, he knew the security people, so they stood, stood kind of around him. So was he just sitting on this for 40 years? I mean, yeah. Um, he was uh, talking to somebody from the record company, and uh, uh, they were talking about something else, and he mentioned that he had footage from yeah. Madison Square Garden, the only time Elvis ever played. Right. And uh, so, of course, um, uh, they checked it out and went, wow, yeah. this is something special. We yeah. have more of that something special, so Good. let's take a look. <laughs> You and Elvis go way back. We go way to 1954. Was he nervous that night that we just saw? You know, he was always nervous before going on stage, but particularly this night, because when he came to New York in the 50s, uh, the press was pretty brutal. Mm -hmm. uh, Ed Sullivan said, I'll never have him on my show. Uh, I have a family show. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, being a southerner and coming to New York and he's 21 years old and he's getting that kind of reaction, then to come back and play the garden and have the press and the fans love him and go wild just as we are this morning, uh, it really meant a lot to him. That was, a, that was the one time he played the garden. You, you traveled with him for years. What was it like yes. traveling with him? Well, you know, we, we kind of set the pace for what rock stars do today, <laughs> even though Elvis says in the press conference in this package, we were tame compared to current day standards. Right. But you know, we, uh, we were called the Memphis Mafia. We did everything late at night, very nocturnal, <laughs> because it was easier for him. And then we got into that lifestyle. And he was a great guy to just set up all night and talk with. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, you know, we'd finish a concert like this in, in uh, Prince from Another Planet and go back to the hotel and he would get with the background singers, go up to the suite. He loved being Elvis Presley. You know, people say, God, he must have got tired of all. He yeah. loved He loved it. Must know. have been some amazing times. He was an amazing guy. Jerry Schilling, thanks. Great stuff, Thank you, Jerry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.